Good afternoon. My brother, my colleague, my friend, my profession for me. <coughs> and Looking at the crowd in this room, I'm sad. किताब की दोस्ती के लिए आए फिल्म की दोस्ती के लिए आए एंड आई एम रिमाइंडेड ऑफ माई टीचर एक टीचर की सबसे पहले हमें कला पकड़ना सिखाते हैं और हमारी एक उस्ताद थी वो पढ़ा थी मिस सोया उनका नाम था वो कहती थी हम नशीनी अगर किताब से है इससे बेहतर कोई नफी हम नशीनी अगर किताब से है इससे बेहतर कोई रफी नहीं और आप सब लोग यहाँ उसी की तारीफ में डायरेक्टर जनरल साहब हो गए साहिबा तमाम खातिन हजरा अपने इतनी ज्यादा मसरूफियात में से वक्त गुजार कर इस किताब इट ब्रिंग्स टूगेदर अबाउटियंस Uh, in education, in research, and in advocacy, I recognize that the children and youth who come to our schools and classrooms today, these children and youth are coming from a very very past state. Like arms are jumbled. Past history. When we look at the world that our youth and children come from, we find disruptive technological past, deeply penetrating mobile technology, artificial intelligence. We begin to see that computers are behaving more and more like humans. is one side of the fast changing world and then we look at the changes that are coming for example through the climate change vast population that is faced drought floods all of that impact the life of the communities we look at the deep conflict in the Thank you, James. 
So what kind of education? It cannot be an education which uh, which is from the old style of the banking method of knowledge and facts. Knowledge and facts, you have it as a check. Now you need an education that prepares the youth to learn, to unlearn, and to read. Learn, unlearn, and read. You need to prepare students and youth for problem solving and decision making. If they don't have these thinking skills, they will not be able to become the leaders in tomorrow's world. But for that, we need to change. Teachers and teaching become important. And we will need to change the teaching methods to prepare the teachers for this new approach to teaching. Teacher education, we have the degrees, the undergraduate degree, the graduate degree, charge degree, no salary degree, or that is very good. But we need also to have nimble, short training programs and short training programs to help the teachers along the spectrum of their career. From induction, early career, mid-career to the most experienced stage. Along the continuum. It's no longer it's no longer the approach that is advised in today's life. Continuing professional development is not an option. It should be mandatory. Something that you are talking about is right? So nimble short programs and then came COVID. And then there was a massive expansion of digital infrastructure and broadband internet, even in the education sector. All over the country, people started to think that uh, technology is a self silver bullet, or is it also a good guy? But as I think, very recently, let us to the editor make something like that. My main thought is that Express Tribune has been written in the package of just saying Technology offers us a lot of possibilities Technology will not replace the teacher Technology cannot replace the teacher But the teacher who refuses to accept technology will be replaced In times to come because the students who come are likely to be natives, they have expectations from their teachers that they will be proficient in digital literacy and digital technologies and the new ways of thinking and doing. So that is one strong message that we have. Secondly, I spoke about uh, liberal short courses. So, when I was talking about Karachi, I was talking about this kind of thing that we have to do with the Karachi program. I was talking about this kind of thing that we have to do with the Karachi program. I said that we need multiple pathways to your thing. You have to do with a teacher and you have to do with a career. I was talking about this kind of thing. What is it? 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 Forty-four, forty-five years ago, 